In your beginner days, I'm sure many of you also experienced how to successfully mess up the most gorgeous scene when taking pictures against strong backlight. And yes, it totally matters which kind of light you're using. And now here it is the new, oh, here it is. <laughs> and now here it is the new SL1 130 BNA. It's almost Christmas and I wanted to have a beach photo shoot here in Florida, using it against strong backlight, against the sunset. I attached the 6FPM, the Fresnel from iFootage, and together it created such a nice soft light. Here you can see how beautifully it can reproduce the sunlight, giving your model fantastic skin tones, fantastic skin colors. So I couldn't have asked for more. In fact, we had so much fun shooting that we created something that was not actually planned in. Here's the result. I'll link it up here. So here is a little reveal of my studio. <laughs> it's not much of a studio. It's a really tiny space. And that was one of the reasons why I thought of changing my key light. It is currently attached to a 120 centimeter softbox, which doesn't have a really good quality, not much consistency in terms of light distribution and it takes up a lot of space. So I thought 90 centimeter might be better for me. I have the SL160DN as my rim light and I thought this would be also a perfect key light if it had a bit more power. So here we are with the iFootage Anglerfish SL1 130 BNA. It has the size of the SL160DN. It fits in the palm of my hand and yet it has the output of a big studio light, 130 watt. The color temperature in this light goes from 2700 all the way to 6500 Kelvin with a color accuracy that I have never seen in any other light before. That is mind blowing. You could create movies with this. This is way more than I actually need. But one of the reasons why I really like iFootage lights is they cut the blue light. If you or your talent is exposed to such lights for a long period of time, blue light can actually damage our eyes. And this light is so much healthier. The size, the color accuracy, the range of color temperature, and of course that they're cutting the blue light. These are all features that are so important to me. Also, as a video light, this is completely flicker free. Versus the cheap LED lights, you can see a flicker. The light distribution is 100% perfect, so you won't have a strong light in one of the corners and a little bit light fall off in another one. It's completely well-rounded. This is the light that comes most close to the natural sunlight, to the natural daylight. So you can actually bring the sun into your studio. And that was the reason why I thought it would be the perfect key light. Right now, still I'm filming using my old key light attached to my 120 centimeter softbox. But as soon as I have set this up, this is going to change for good. Also nice to see is that they made improvements here on this handle. You can tighten this now so much easier and more firm so that now it actually supports the Fresnel, the 6 FPM that I'm having without going down. Remember my SL160DN was not able to hold up this heavy weight, but this here can actually do it and I can use it now in every single angle that I want. That is a huge benefit and a big plus. Nice, good job. What I always like is that the power adapter has this little cable that I can hang it to avoid any strain here. What's new to me is that now our power plug has such a little security button that locks our power cable in place here in our power adapter. And that is very useful because it can happen if too much strain is on the cable that it slips out. No more with this light. Another point where this light stands out from the competition is that you can adjust the color temperature in 50 Kelvin increments and the brightness in 0.1% increments. Very nice thought from the engineers. Now we do have a USB type C port, which you can also use to source to power your light. To have the perfect match for my new light, I picked the 90 cm quick release dome softbox from iFootage. I already have the 60 cm from iFootage and Compared to other brand softboxes, the very even light distribution makes it stand out. That's nice. Quick release, easy to set up and easy to disassemble. The inner diffuser has a double layer in the center.
And after installing the auto diffuser, I attached the honeycomb grid and my new key light was ready to be used. Super. And yes, I'm using the SL1 130BNA as my current key light and I have the 90cm deep parabolic softbox attached. And of course using one manufacturer in your studio makes it so much easier when you want to control your lights. The beauty about this Lumin app is I can individually control the lights or I can control them together. I can turn off one of them if I like. So I can make this a little brighter or I can adjust the key light to my liking. And of course for each light you can go into the individual system settings and apply presets if you like for example. Well, that's not so much my thing, <laughs> but yeah. Now we do have effects. We can also make it respond to sound, respond to music. So there are plenty of things you can do with the app. This is fantastic. I couldn't have asked for more. It is the same size of my SL160DN, but the light is much stronger and the build quality is much better. This is perfect and I'm so excited about this. So what are your thoughts on the Anglerfish iFootage SL1 130 BNA? Is this the right studio light for you? Let me know in the comments below. I'll definitely respond. If you like this video, leave a like. It would really help me out. And if you like my channel overall, please consider to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching this. Till the next time, stay safe, stay tuned and take care. Bye for now.